If you're a trucker looking to own the most impressive vehicle on the road, the Tesla Semi could be just a ticket. The first models of this high-production version will begin production in late 2025, with a gradual ramp-up starting in 2026. But here's an interesting question. Would you rather have your Tesla Semi consume 1.73 kilowatt hours per mile or travel 1.73 miles per kilowatt hour? Elon Musk recently made an exciting announcement about this electric truck, reinforcing that it will be the best in its Class 8 class in the world. Over the past few months, Tesla has implemented a key feature in the Semi, something that no other truck currently offers. And after extensive testing, Customers who have already driven the vehicle have shared details about their experience with it, its performance, and its use in everyday life. In today's episode, we'll highlight two features that could make the Tesla Semi the most advanced electric truck on the market. And finally, we'll bring you the latest updates on production, expected launch date, and production volume, as confirmed by Elon Musk and his team. Is the Tesla Semi a financial game changer? We've mentioned before that the Semi is a true game-changer when it comes to total cost of ownership, TCO. As with the Optimus robot, the price tag for the truck is justified by the long-term economic benefits. When compared to other modes of transportation, its cost-benefit ratio is unmatched. You might be surprised to learn that all Tesla Semis on the road today are still first-generation models, built with limited technology and manufacturing capacity at the Nevada Gigafactory. Despite this, the performance figures are already impressive, and Tesla sees this as just the beginning of a major evolution. During the last Q4 earnings call, Elon Musk confirmed that the company will launch the Semi-2 this year, along with a new factory dedicated exclusively to mass production. Over the years, many have doubted the Tesla Semi's capabilities, arguing that it would not be able to compete with traditional diesel trucks. This skepticism is understandable. After all, since its introduction in 2017, the number of units on the road is still relatively small. It is estimated that less than 200 vehicles are in operation, including those from Tesla itself and those from partner companies. But is this electric truck capable of competing with the diesel models that have dominated the sector for decades? Despite the small number of units on the road, Eight years of development and testing have made one thing very clear. The operating costs of the Tesla Semi are significantly lower than those of a diesel truck, with savings margins that exceed expectations. An example of this occurred during the run on Less Event, promoted by Pepsi, where a Tesla Semi broke records by traveling 1,076 miles in a single day. Considering the average cost of electricity in California of 30 cents per mile, and the average price of diesel at $3.66 per gallon. Driving this distance in an electric truck would cost approximately $322, while a diesel truck would spend about $3,936 on fuel. That's a staggering $3,615 difference, meaning operating a diesel truck can be more than 12 times more expensive in fuel costs alone. Another interesting point is that this journey was completed in less than 24 hours a feat possible because electric vehicles don't require long stops to refuel. However, it's important to remember that regulations in the United States limit truck drivers to a maximum of 11 hours of work per day. Could the Tesla Semi evolve into something like a transportation robot, reducing the need for traditional drivers? The idea of an autonomous electric truck has enormous potential, especially considering the shortage of truck drivers in the United States. This shortage of professionals is one of the main logistical challenges in the industry and a limiting factor in freight transportation. During the last fourth quarter earnings conference, Elon Musk highlighted that the truck driving profession is extremely demanding, which has led to fewer and fewer people entering the field. The number of drivers leaving the profession exceeds the number of new entrants, creating concern for the future of the industry. However, Musk sees this reality as a huge financial opportunity, with the potential to generate billions of dollars in revenue annually. According to him, the industry could reach a market value of 10 billion US dollars per year or even 1 billion US dollars per month in the future. If a Tesla Semi needs to stop after 11 hours of operation, it will be due to the driver's workday limit imposed by law 
and not due to a limitation of the truck itself. Autonomous driving technology still needs to advance further to enable fully autonomous operation, but this scenario is becoming increasingly viable. The big differentiator for the Tesla Semi is that, unlike other autonomous vehicles that rely on fixed routes or controlled environments, it will be able to operate on different types of terrain and road conditions. This will be possible thanks to the advancement of Tesla's full self-driving FSD system, which is already in development. Another important point is that in the United States, 80% of freight transportation occurs on only 10% of the country's commercial corridors. This factor makes route mapping a completely feasible task for Tesla's FSD system. However, the full implementation of autonomy still depends on state regulations, as some regions still prohibit testing autonomous trucks on public roads. This is currently the biggest barrier to operating these vehicles in urban areas. From a financial perspective, adding self-driving technology would increase the cost of the Tesla Semi by about $50,000 bringing the total price of the truck to about $200,000. However, even with this extra cost, it would still be a more cost-effective option than having a human driver. When analyzed over the life of the truck, an estimated 1 million miles, this additional cost would represent an additional cost of just 5 cents per mile, which is far less than what companies currently spend on labor. The real financial impact of autonomous trucks comes from the savings they generate in driver's payroll. Currently, a truck driver in the U.S. earns, on average, between $80,000 and $120,000 per year, which equates to a cost of approximately $80 to $120 per mile driven. Labor costs currently account for about half of a truck's total operating expenses. This does not mean, however, that autonomous trucks will eliminate jobs in the field. Although they can travel long distances without a driver at the wheel, human labor will still be needed to load, unload, and manage logistics operations. In this way, the adoption of autonomous trucks is likely to transform the profession, making it more efficient rather than simply replacing workers. In practice, these vehicles would be ideal for operating routes between distribution centers and strategic logistics points. Long, repetitive, and tiring trips which are particularly challenging for human drivers, would be handled by autonomous trucks. To illustrate, imagine a drive from San Diego, California, to Austin, Texas, that takes between 18 and 20 hours. No driver could complete this trip alone, much less make it there and back without exceeding the 11-hour driving limit imposed by law. An autonomous truck, on the other hand, could drive this route continuously, freeing up drivers to work on the early and late stages of the delivery, when human interaction is essential. This would make work more productive and allow drivers to spend more time at home with their families. The idea behind this technology is clear. To increase safety, improve productivity, and ensure a better quality of life for workers in the field. According to the most recent tests of Tesla's full self-driving system, Autonomous vehicles react up to 14 times faster than a human driver and have a greater range of vision, even in low-light conditions. In addition, in the United States, there are approximately 5,000 fatal accidents involving trucks every year, with the majority being caused by human error. Unlike a driver, a self-driving truck doesn't suffer from fatigue, distractions like cell phones or movies, and doesn't make mistakes due to lack of attention. So the big question isn't whether the Tesla Semi can compete with diesel trucks, but rather, why wouldn't someone choose a Tesla Semi? Considering the cost savings, environmental benefits, and ability to make logistics operations more efficient, the choice becomes clear. The Tesla Semi revolution, adoption of the 48V electrical system. One of the major innovations in the Tesla Semi is its transition to a 48V electrical system which brings significant advantages over the traditional 24V system used in most trucks. Currently, passenger vehicles in the U.S. operate on a 12V electrical system, while larger trucks use 24V, similar to what happens in household electrical grids, where common appliances operate on 110-120V and industrial facilities require 220-240V. The choice of electric systems in trucks dates back to the construction of the U.S. interstate highways after World War II, 
a period when trucks were widely adopted. Initially, they used 12V systems, but as the industry evolved, standardization to 24V became common. Now, Tesla is leading the transition to 48V, especially with the second-generation Tesla Semi, which is expected to prioritize this technology starting this year. This change is aimed at optimizing the efficiency and performance of electric trucks. The use of the 48V system is crucial for large electric vehicles, as it allows for better management of energy demand, in addition to improving features such as regenerative braking, which helps to extend autonomy and reduce the need for frequent recharging. This innovation can bring significant benefits to the operation of electric trucks in the long term. Positive feedback from the transportation sector. Recently, the transportation company Saya, one of the leaders in the LTL, less than truckload, freight segment, added two Tesla semis to its fleet. In an official statement, Patrick Sugar, the company's executive vice president of operations, highlighted the impressive performance of the vehicles. According to him, tests have shown that the truck not only offers high power and energy efficiency, but also excels on short and long trips. During the tests, the company recorded an average consumption of 1.73 kilowatt hours per mile, a performance that positively surprised the team. Drivers who have tested the Tesla Semi have also praised the driving experience, highlighting the smooth acceleration, the comfort of the cabin, and the truck's ability to maintain speed on steep inclines, even with a heavy load. This feedback reinforces the potential of the Tesla Semi in the freight transportation market. Previously, companies such as PepsiCo and DHL had already expressed satisfaction with the performance of Tesla's electric truck. Now, with Saya joining the team, it is even more evident that the Tesla Semi is gaining ground and consolidating its position as a viable and innovative option for the logistics sector. More and more companies are showing confidence in the Tesla Semi, and the results obtained so far reinforce this trend. For example, the Saya carrier recorded an energy consumption of 1.73 kilowatt hours per mile while DHL achieved a similar rate of 1.72 kilowatt hours per mile. PepsiCo achieved an even more efficient consumption, reaching just 1.61 kilowatt hours per mile. These figures indicate that the Tesla Semi is ready for large-scale operations, offering highly competitive performance in the freight transportation sector. The Tesla Semi's big advantage lies in its combination of autonomy and energy efficiency. With a single charge and full charge, the truck can travel up to 500 miles without compromising its transport capacity. When compared to competing models, this advantage becomes even more evident. The Volvo VNR Electric, for example, has an advertised range of up to 275 miles, but the automaker itself reports that, in real conditions, this range can drop to around 220 miles. In addition to having greater autonomy, the Tesla Semi also stands out for its ultra-fast charging. With the technology of Tesla's new V4 superchargers, the truck can receive up to 1,200 kilowatts of power. In contrast, the Nikola Tray, one of its main competitors, reaches a maximum of 350 kilowatts, while other models, such as the Volvo VNR Electric and the Freightliner Ecoscadia, have even lower charging capacities reaching 250 kilowatts and 180 kilowatts, respectively. This technological superiority makes the Tesla Semi the only viable electric option to replace diesel trucks in real and demanding applications. Another impressive aspect is that the Tesla Semi achieves these milestones without sacrificing payload capacity. During the IAA Transportation 2024 show, Dan Priestley revealed that the truck weighs less than 23,500 pounds, a figure comparable to that of the most robust diesel trucks. Considering a curb weight of around 23,000 pounds and the ability to tow a 10,000-pound trailer, the total payload capacity can reach approximately 49,000 pounds, a value close to that of traditional trucks, which typically range between 44,000 and 54,000 pounds depending on the model and the amount of fuel carried. But how many Tesla semis will be produced by 2025? According to Elon Musk, Tesla is on track to capture about 10% of the Class A truck market in the United States. 
Some more optimistic analysts believe that if a Tesla Semi can reach a range of 1.5 million miles, that share could double to 20%. The company is currently building a new factory dedicated to mass production of the Tesla Semi, located near the Gigafactory in Nevada. This facility which has received an investment of 3.6 billion U.S. dollars and occupies an area of 4 million square feet, will have the capacity to manufacture 50,000 units per year. The introduction of the new 4,680 battery cells promises to further extend the range and efficiency of electric trucks, making electric-powered freight transport more affordable and viable than ever before. Tesla has already demonstrated its ability to deliver on promises and deliver results above expectations. The new Tesla Semi Factory, while smaller than the 10 million square foot Giga Texas, is one of the largest dedicated electric truck manufacturing facilities in the United States. Mass production is expected to begin as early as 2025, cementing Tesla as a major player in the freight transportation industry. In addition, New aerial images recently captured show significant progress in the construction of the factory. The wall enclosures have already been completed and work on the press area is underway. Reports indicate that extensive land grading operations were underway a few weeks ago, which reinforces the expectation that full-scale production will begin on schedule.